Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick video about CPM on an Apple IIc. Because I put a quick photo and uh, people begin to ask me about it. So I'm going to show off how does it work on an Apple IIc. Let's check it out. Here we have one of my nice trusty Apple IIcs. This one has installed the Applied Engineering ZRAM Ultra 3. The ZRAM Ultra 3 was um, or is a memory card that goes uh, underneath the keyboard. It You take it out and you put it in by replacing the MMU and the CPU and it gives you more memory, it gives you a clock well, it gives you one megabyte of RAM, uh, it gives you a clock, and also it gives you CPM. So let's see how it works. And there it is. First thing you can see is it, it, it will boot up in 80 column. Uh, this is normal on, on the Apple II uh, CPM as, as long uh, as, well, at, at least that's what I've seen, uh, that it comes with a couple of weird uh, characters that appear on the screen. I tested my memory, so it's not a memory problem. So let's start by looking at, uh, and what I'm doing is I'm running AECPM 5.1, downloaded from Asimov. And, um, you know, this uh, behaves just like any CPM. You can do directory and it will show just a directory in the XCPM. It has sample files and all that. Of course, I don't know too much about CPM. I don't use it too much, but because I wanted to use it, I downloaded some stuff. So what I do is I put in some disks and uh, I get Sork. And I think you just run things by putting the name. You don't even have to put run. So you put Sork, and, uh, oh, hold on. Oh, it's Sork 1, that's why. Let me adjust this. See where I can see it better. Well, there, that looks better. Here we go. So as you can see, it's very nice, very readable, and there's a game. I beg your pardon. We're playing Sork. It's a text game. Uh, let's see if I can see it better here. These are not very readable. This is good. What about let's leave it green okay so let's go and test another game uh hitchhiker guide to the, to the galaxy oh let's see if it works yep cpm again and let's see what's in here and it's called game 80. And again, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Pitch black. Pitch black. <laughs> That's weird with that character. That's strange things about the characters uh, and I got another one just uh, let's see that's not gonna run do it fast oh no I, I wasn't fast enough but unfortunately you know I, I only got floppies and I have to put in the back and you see this is version 4.0 so 
So I got several versions of CPM, but they all work. Um, and then I go to or quest. And again, I, I choose games because that's what I like. Um, maybe I, I could find later a uh, few applications, but I'm, honestly, I'm not that interested in those. So that's why I was just looking at this. And, and again, this is nice. It has some text over there. Oh, this error. What? Well, it's not perfect. Let's talk about what it takes to put CPM into an Apple IIc. And it's actually not difficult. Well, this loads, I'm gonna show you a CPM card. This is an Applied Engineering CPM card. This is just CPM. And what it does you just, uh, as many cards on the Apple IIc, you just take out the CPU and put this in instead of, you know, replacing that CPU, and then you put the CPU on top of it. So it, it goes from here. And then the Z80 um, chip is around here. Oh no, it's here, sorry. And um, that's how it runs CPM. You gotta connect this to, to another chip, you know, um, Somewhere, <laughs> I gotta I gotta look at the documentation, but this is one of those cards. So you just put it in there, and it will give you CPM. So that's what it takes to run CPM on an Apple IIc. Well, this was a quick introduction to CPM. Hope you like it. If you want, please click on like, share, comment a lot. And see you next time. Thank you.